Hello, my viewers and subscribers. Welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. And returning subscribers, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I am going to share a speech that Mota Baruka made on the situation that happened in the parliament last week where the budget debate is concerned. Mota seems like he has some concern for Andrew Olness and his administration in terms of the hostility within our politics. Mota Baruka is basically saying that we have never had to deal with this before, the way that Mark Golding is conducting himself, the indecency and hostility toward Andrew Holness, the language being used. Guys, I want you to hear what Mota Baruka is saying and then I'll come back to you. <laughs> if disturb the whole parliament, and I bet you that during the course until next year, it's one heap of them things there are going to happen. And I don't know if the Prime Minister of the know how. So you always say no. The place is hot. I don't want nobody to get hotter than how it is, you know. So we all try to cool down the space and the place. Yeah, we all try to cool it down, you understand? Too much hot blood. Blood pressure rise and sugar drop and all them something there. We all try to cool it down, yeah. Well, Mark Golden is a, I don't know, is a different kind of politician. The JLP have got to deal with it, I know, you know, because him look like him have a way to do things and say things where we make the JLP government, especially the Prime Minister, look bad. And that was one of the things him will do the other day. Him say something and then he's back. And the Prime Minister make the bad move and walk out of the house. And then now, him go outside, go finish film speech. So, when the Prime Minister ball out, him get the edge of the stick. Because him disturb the whole parliament. <laughs> him disturb the whole parliament. And I bet you that during the course until the next year, it's one heap of them things there are going to happen. And I don't know if the Prime Minister have the know how, how to go around this way of politician, politicking, where, 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 where Mark Golden have. So it might just see more aggravation in the Prime Minister. If him not have somebody there to just relax him and show him, say, easy, easy, our politics this. You know, I don't know, ordinary fool you have here, so no. It's a different kind of person. I attack you. You don't want to turn out like the man where you fire. Mr. Wormington. Yesterday, not the day before yesterday, I hear a man say, when Wormington come at him, say, leave, leave. Your boss fire you, your boss fire you. Wormington is a man where him say certain things where you never expect politicians to say. Now, Bruce, not Bruce, um, Mark Golden, he must have said things where people say, but how he must have put it now, it will aggravate the Prime Minister especially, not just the idea about him wife, when bring up about him wife. Because a whole heap of people didn't have that in them head, believe you me. A whole heap of people have it in them head, say the Prime Minister's wife and the Prime Minister are the two head of the House in a Parliament. So it's not like say him did say something where him I say whole heap of people have it at them head. It's just that him say it and create a alabalo in the parliament there. And now the prime minister take it up on him head and go show him emotional collect connection with the speaker of the house, which him shouldn't be doing that. You know, it's him wife, but. You have no sign of parliament today, and that's why I'm mean, saying it's going to become a very serious thing when Mark Golden start unleash certain argument and certain talk where the Prime Minister are not used to. He's not used to it, so we don't know. We don't know. It, 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 it all get red. That's where we say it all get red. 
we will take the news and come forward a news time yeah so guys when mutabaruka is saying that you know andrew oldness is not used to this kind of politics or whatever it's not andrew oldness alone who is not used to this kind of politics jamaica is not used to this kind of politics. Mark Golding is a very vicious person, as we can see. And guys, the attack is not just coming from Mark Golding. It is Peter Bunting who wrote that speech and sent Mark Golding to attack Andrew Holness in his budget speech in a way that Jamaican people, parliamentarians, don't, don't, they don't do that kind of thing. And it is also Bunting who expose Mark Golding as being a hypocrite. Because as you know, they all agreed when she came up for speakership. Okay? So, where Andrew Onus is concerned, I have always been saying that he should let his wife come down from the speakership. I don't agree with that because as a man, a man is going to defend his wife no matter where. Whether out of the parliament or in the parliament, his instinct, naturally, is going to be to defend his wife when his wife comes under perceived or actual attack. It is not a good thing for Juliet Holness to be there. She should come down from there and give her husband room to do his job. She's not cute up there. And I don't mean that literally. She's a good-looking lady. But what I mean is, there's nothing cute about her being the speaker while her husband is the prime minister of the country. It is wrong. Even people who support Andrew Onus is saying that. Okay? So that's the first course of action that Andrew Onus needs to take. And like Muta Baruka said, Andrew Onus needs to struggle up himself and be ready to be a, a, a politician and be a prime minister and stand up to Mark Golden because I am of the view that we should not accept the style of politics that Mark Golding is coming in Jamaica with. You can agree with people, disagree with people without going down in the gutter. Mark Golding is an Englishman, and if Mark Golding was in the UK, where his root and his family are from, he wouldn't be able to conduct politics the way that he is. He can agree, disagree, sorry, with Andrew Onis, but his level of hostility, his denigration of the Prime Minister that I have observed his language get wicked upon them and inciting violence in our politics, guys, that should not be acceptable. So Andrew Honest has to decide how he wants to proceed going forward because everybody's seeing it and everybody's talking about it. Most people in Jamaica, they are not going to run out and mark Golin and tell him what he's doing and tell him that what he's doing is wrong. You know, people like me are not afraid to say it. I don't have any sympathy for people who carry on that way. And I don't care what you look like, you know. So it is what it is. But guys, I'm going to make one ear now. One woman, one vlogger, who accused Mark Golding of taking TikTok to the parliament. Taking our content to the parliament. And this woman is also echoing the sentiment that I make and other people that it is not a wise idea for Juliet Holness to be in the parliament as the prime minister's wife and it matters not whether she's elected. The principle of it is that it's not right. I don't believe that Juliet should have inserted herself in the politics, representational politics even, while her husband serves. If she has ambition, she should have come before or after her husband, but not during. That's my view. So listen to what this lady has to say, guys. When I spoke earlier of Andrew and Juliet in Parliament together, it wasn't only about nepotism, but it was about conflict of interest. In management, it is highly recommended that partners don't work together in the same company because of conflict of interest how can you be saying oh 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 andrew at 3 a.m and then at 9 a.m you are madam speaker and your ladyship what happened in parliament yesterday it wasn't because 
of the madam speak and desperate for power. It was because it was a personal attack on Andrew's wife. All Andrew could have seen was Mr. Mark attacking his wife. Because that's how it is when you work together with your spouses in the same organization. It, it's not right. It's not right. It's not right. And you, Brother Mark, how, the, how, how Juliet was given the Speaker of the House. Wasn't she duly nominated by your party? Wasn't the both side of the house nominate Juliet as Speaker of the House? Could Andrew Holness alone give his wife that power? How Juliet being Speaker of the House only became a problem when I brought it up. Brother Mark live on TikTok. He's on TikTok morning, noon, and night, dancing away. And then he take down content from TikTok and take it to Parliament because he has no content. He has no substance. And he has no clue of what is happening in Jamaica. You went to, 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 to Parliament to declare your budget speech. And you take contents from TikTok. This is the this is the kind of leader that you people will get. Because if you don't think Andrew is bad or worse, wait until you don't get Brother Mark. Because Brother Mark don't have a clue of what is happening and what the needs of the Jamaican people are. May God help you all. But you need you all need to stop. You all need to do proper research and, 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 and go into parliament um, with your information and stop grabbing from TikTok to use to make your presentation. It not look good. Yes, guys. So the bangaran continues. Now here is the final take in this upload. News breaking this morning. Juliet Olness is blaming the clerk at the house who has been there for some probably some 20 years i've been seeing that lady in parliament forever but she's blaming her for dereliction of duty causing the return of the two documents to the auditor general miss curtis has not responded but guys if you want to know more about what happened here you can go over to the gleaner and read this article i have decided and that is one of the reasons why i did not listen to the Prime Minister's budget speech. I've tuned out to the Parliament. I don't want to hear anything that is going on in there because from day one when this lady, who is the wife of the Prime Minister, sat on that speaker bench and I said, this is not right and it's not going to go down well. Now that it has become a problem for the people who helped put her there, I don't want to... I just tune it out, right? So... Until Juliet Olness leaves from off the speaker bench, then I will start looking in there and listening again. But until then, guys, I will just refrain from doing so because this is ridiculous at this point. Like I said and like I've told you guys, this lady is going to make her husband lose the election because right now she's behaving like she's drunk on power. She's going overboard and doing some things that is making people turn off from her husband from the parliament and from the politics and she needs to step down she does and i say that without apology make sure you're keeping it locked here to jamaica politics uncovered for your political news reviews and updates you're not going to get it more raw and more honest any place else make sure you are subscribed and you have your notification on and you're inviting your friends over here for come listen to and hang out with we make sure say you are tuning Weeknight, 7 p.m. to our live broadcast. Have yourselves a wonderful day.